Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You are watching Forutech. So the Nord 2 development is on the peak after we got the first fully working official Evolution X140 build. We well, already created its installation and review video. You can find it under the video description. Same developer of Evolution X Lania and his team managed to get the most popular ROM of custom ROM world that is Lineage OS 21 Android 14 build for OnePlus Nord 2. So today in this video we are going to discuss how you can flash this build if you are coming from the Android 14 ROMs or the stock of Sonos 13. We will see is this build really daily drivable build or not including the camera testing. We have seen all the essential features available for the ROM and finally we shown what are the major issues present in the ROM as compared to the Evolution X. So watch this video till the end. Now without further ado, let's get started. On a new adventure. Let's start with the flashing process. If you are on the Evolution X Android 14 build, you can't able to boot your device into the fast boot mode using the advanced menu or not even using the ADP commands. So first power up your device, then long press all the buttons. At the same time, you will see this bootloader screen with the tiny letters. Now connect phone to the PC. Download three files, recovery, gapps and the ROM and place them in one folder in your PC. There open the PowerShell window using the shift key of keyboard press right click of your mouse. Now first type fastboot devices, then type fastboot flash recovery and drag the recovery image file in the PowerShell window and hit enter. Once recovery flashing gets done, next type command fastboot reboot recovery. You will see your device will boot to this new lineage of recovery. Here type apply update then select apply update from the ADB. Keep phone connected to the PC. Now type first command adb side load and drag and drop the full rom zip file in the powershell window and press enter button. You will see flashing of rom starts. Once we get the 1x for notification in powershell window it means flashing out successful. Now again tap apply update and select apply update from the adb. Then we need to flash the gapps package as the lineage was designed comes with the gapps. Now type ADP side load and drag the gapps package in the PowerShell window and press enter button. After flashing gets done, then tap factory set and select format data. Once done, reboot the system. That's it, phone will boot to the new Lineage OS 21 boot animation. ROM comes with the Lineage OS signature Trebachet launcher. Now let's check out the about phone details of the new ROM. This is the Android 14 based ROM with the Google's new upside down easter egg. Lineage OS version is 14 April 2024, but this is an unofficial build. It has their own amazing easter egg with the Octopus game. Best thing is that we got the latest April security patch with this ROM. Kernel is origin, its version is 4.19.198. Build data ROM is also latest, it's of 14th April 2024. ROM source space is the latest one, so it's the best pros of using the custom ROM even after OEM stops the regular updates for the device. As this is the first build of ROM, I tested all the essential features like auto brightness, Wi-Fi and hotspot, Bluetooth, NFC, GPS location, accuracy, OnePlus LR slider, all are working without any issues. All the VLT and 5G incoming and outgoing calls are working. All the sensors are working as you can check on the screen. Other important things like ear proximity, here speaker, mic, display, multi-touch are working good. Now comes the important part that is the camera. Surprisingly developers added the OnePlus camera for this ROM as this is the unofficial build. In the camera night mode is available and it's giving the good quality pictures under the dark condition. For photos and the video shooting AI and HDR modes are working. All the wide angle camera modes are also working. Both the front selfie and the main camera are working good. Main camera portrait pictures are working good but the selfie camera has issues that we will discuss under the bug section. Under the more section we guess the pro mode, ultra HD mode, panama mode, fit mode. These all the modes are working without any issues. Slow motion shooting is available and it's working. Here is a sample. 
time lapse feature is also working dual view is working perfectly aid photos are available and they are working but another two features like text scanner and the brino scan has issue that we'll discuss in the bug section video shooting at the 180p 60fps is working but the 4k 60fps is not available like stock oxygen os ultra steady mode it is available and it's working so the oneplus camera is working perfectly with some minor flaws rom also has the oneplus gallery application audio fixes the lineage os audio mode it has variety of audio tuning option for the device audio Trebechat launcher has some features like hidden and protected application that helps to lock your private applications with the fingerprint and password. We also get the app drawer and home screen dock apps theming. The major features called as the OnePlus setting is available under the system setting of the device. Here we get variety of options like cap C mode for battery saving, DC dimming mode, high brightness mode toggle, sRGB screen color mode toggle. 90 fps screen refresh rate vibration strength control etc and surprisingly the mtk engineering mode is available here and is working good as the lineage os is the aos prom we did not get too much feature but some important customizations like buttons status bar gestures are available with lots of features this rom is an official who gets the ot updater under the system setting and it's working under the lock screen we get the ambient display which has the pocket mode and always on display setting aod mode is working with the low brightness which helps to save battery even you are using the aod mode dark theme has the pure black theme option using the live display setting we can adjust the color calibration of the display we also get the reading mode here double tap to wake and sleep gestures are working on the lock screen perfectly So everything we discuss here today we will not discuss about the performance and the Geekbench results because this ROM is really but very smooth so I didn't think we need to check any Geekbench results using this ROM. So now we will directly check the bugs and the missing features in the ROM. ROM did not comes with the new lock screen widgets of Android 14 and the wallpaper sense style setting. We also did not get the new AI generated wallpapers and the emojis setting here. Google Photo application did not have unlimited photo backup feature. Most importantly, Asnex Septinet application status profile check is getting failed, so we can't able to use banking application or security apps in this ROM. Similarly, Device Play Protect is uncertified, so some applications like DRM Info and others will not work in the ROM. There are no any patches available to bypass this issue in the ROM. In the camera application. If you tries to take the portrait pictures using the selfie camera, camera gets freezes sometimes and photos are not getting saved in the gallery. Under the more setting, if you tries to use the text scanner, it caused the force close of camera application like I didn't works anymore to make it work. We need to wipe it starter. Brino scan also did not working. We did not catch the code coding feature in the dialer for this ROM. So these are some major issues which may be deal breaking for some users there are solutions available under the video description but I can't guarantee they will work 100% This is all about the new Lineage 21 I think we will require some time to get the fully stable Lineage 21 Until then if you like now work then please do like and share this video subscribe our channel press the bell icon for notifications of our upcoming content for not to Thanks for watching soon next time take care Bye bye